Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome. So today, I have built a weapon that could possibly end all other weapons and ships as we know them. So I have called it the TGAW for short, or the Terminal Gravity Acceleration Warhead. Basically, the concept of it is really simple. We have a gravity-stabilized object in the center like so. And if you have ever, ever dropped something with a gravity generator underneath it, you'll notice how it gains a lot of speed and causes a lot of damage to objects below. So the concept is, this will explode, in turn knocking this gravity generator off, that will cause all the other gravity generators to force this object, and the object's going to escape any way possible. And in this case, the only way it can escape from this gravity field is forward. So this should penetrate deep into the target, and with the gravity generator behind it, we should have a very nice effect on target. So, I'll show you the concept. The idea was really simple. I was working in the factory, and before I started fixing some of the ways things rolled down different areas, I put standard blocks in underneath, and I noticed this effect. Basically, when I opened the doors, I dropped the item downward, and the whole floor came apart. The object just basically penetrated through the floor and destroyed half the factory floor, so I had to reinforce it with objects that weren't actually destroyable. So this gave me this idea. So if you come back over here, you'll see that we've got basically a gravity cell. And um, I believe Video Sage was talking about gravity cells the other day. And he was talking to me and he was explaining how they work. And I was like, oh, that's, that, they're a pretty interesting concept. I mean, you, should, you could really do some nice ideas. So if we get our inventory up, we have a number of stones in here. I'll just dump these in here. And you can see how they flung back and forth. And they're actually controlled within this gravitational field. And you can actually create some quite interesting effects very easily. So I'm going to just move a little bit and try to get to the center of this gravitational field. That should align me about here. This is pretty good. And this should keep me with a rock that's absolutely stable. And then everything will rotate around them on different sorts of orientations. You see how we've got these different rotations. Very interesting and very cool. You can go hundreds of ways with this gravity. But as usual, I'm turning it into a weapon of mass destruction. This was one of the smaller designs in the concept working process, and I thought by making it smaller, you could possibly launch more of these. And if that does work, maybe we can try launching five or six of these little torpedo ideas from the smaller pods so we can do more collateral damage. But let's get over to the Twagwa. Every, every time I say it, it feels like I want to dock like some General Thrax from um, CNC Generals. But that sounded probably more French. But let's continue back to the ship. We've got a target set up all the way in the background over there. It's not the most quality target that I've ever built, but it doesn't matter. It'll work, and it should be able to be destroyed, and that's all that matters. So we need to make sure there's a cockpit still in here. There is, and we need to bring this up to speed. So about 50 is where I tend to release things, and we just need to keep an eye on the warhead as well and make sure everything works. Yeah, so it's stabilizing fine in there. Natural warhead's st keeping stable fine. It could be also a great way of transporting ore. Yeah, the warhead's perfectly stable in there. So we need to go up to 50, and then we'll release this guy. It's only connected by landing gears, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Unless my lag gets really bad, and then we, we'll see a problem. We'll see a problem. Uh, right, so what we have, 44, 45, and then we'll just release it now. Okay, warhead's away. Let's see what we've got. Got a little bit of lag. We've got the penetration, we're looking for a whole four layers of armor and that rock to go somewhere. So let's hop out and actually have a look what's actually happened. Okay, I think it's worked. Is that rock still in the side? If the rock's still inside, it's not worked. It's worked. This is, we've just created one of the most dangerous weapons possibly in Space Engine. This is four layers of thin armor and it just kept going. It didn't even phase it. So I think we need to bring this up. We'll bring this up to five or six, seven or eight layers of thick armor. And we'll actually see how much this penetration can do. Look at that, though. I wasn't expecting that. that I mean, did, did the boulder come through here? Or did the boulder come through here? Whatever it's done, it's done some serious penetration values. I'll tell you that. All right, let's continue on. Right. So it's not often that my weapons work on the actual first try. And we're going to go for something ultimate. So this is actually, let's check, 10 layers of light armor. 10 layers of light armor. Will this warhead penetrate it? I've got very 
good feelings about him. Let's draw a little bit of a face on the target anyway, so we'll give him um, a red polo shirt like so. This guy's going to get annihilated, so he needs to look his best. Uh, like a little bit of a red polo shirt like that. Block that in. There we go. Uh, get block them sleeves in a bit. There we go. It's like, prepare the twag. The twag is about to annihilate. Right, and we need a bit of a we need a head going on here, so we'll give him a little bit of a head like so. Give him an eye. Give him an eye. And then this guy's gonna have like a oh no face. And then oh, there we go. Red shirt man. So it's like prepare the twag, the twag, the twag will it do why do I keep saying twag? There's no G on the end. It's it's T G A W Terminal at Gravity Acceleration Warhead. It is great building something that works because, like, I don't know if you've seen some of my other creations, they either don't work or it takes like 20 billion attempts to make them work. So it's good. It's good to be working on the first time. Right. So red t-shirt man is ready. We're going to accelerate up to R50 limit. And if this penetrates 10 layers of light armor, we know, we know this is the most deadliest weapon in Space Engineers. I'll do it on heavy armor after this. But this thing, this gravity stabilized object, is 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 like I don't know how dangerous it is. It's just it's just annihilated the four layers of light armor, and I've never seen even a light torpedo do that. So it's going to be very interesting to see. So we're up to 39, 41, 42. We're nearly at 50 now. Just waiting it to 50, and there we go. We'll release, and there it goes. A little bit laggy. Right. So will it be 10 layers of armor? That's the question. I'll release it a bit further away at a low velocity next time, so, um, so we can actually try it out. So out we get. We'll fly on up. Now, oh, n oh. do you guys see this? That is ten layers of armor. Ten layers of, and it's not stopped. Look, it's still going. You can see a little dot over there. Jesus, this this is. The most deadliest weapon. No ship will be safe from this guy. If you want to build a breaching ship, this warhead maybe on the front of it is going to be so deadly. I mean, obviously we'll launch it from a bit further away next time, but this this is extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous indeed. Right, let's get back to launching one for a further distance. We may even launch two. Right, let's continue on. So let's explain how this thing works. So these red blocks represent actual gravity generators and in the center we have ourselves a big rock or piece of ore. So basically I'll illustrate it with blue. So we impact the target here, like so. This detonates, destroying this and destroying this gravity generator. The rock in the middle here then travels back towards this gravity generator because of the blast and there's nothing keeping it in there so the velocity is basically just allowed it to push onto here so it's pushed onto here and the gravity generator has basically gone hey you're not coming over here friend and then sends it straight out going right back through the target and just continues on until it reaches that point where it can no longer have any weight and has to stop but basically that allows us to penetrate maximum amount of armor and if we get one of these at the right place we could penetrate right the way through an engine room uh, a ship's little control bay like so i mean anything in that ship is pretty much dead i'm going to try this probably on a ship and i'm going to try it on heavy armor because i know you'll want to see that but that's basically the idea behind it right so we're back at the target and i'm just going to show you how many layers of actual thick armor we're doing here we're doing another 10 layers but this time it's going to be heavy armor so this is supposed to be a lot more resistance, and I've just filled it in with the wrong armor type, so give me a second. Refill. We've got it nice and yellow, and this time, I'm going to release the torpedo before we actually impact the target, so we can see it. And for some reason, we've got another little imperfection here in the target, that's where I must have started drawing it from. There we go, fill that in, and let's, to finish it off, we need a good target picture. So let's draw a little bit of an enemy sailing ship, shall we? So we'll get some blue out, uh, there's my blue. And we'll draw some waves, like so. Nice waves. And then we draw a nice big boat. Uh, what we got in colours wise. There we go, that's pretty nice. Get a boat there. Like so. There we go, it's like I attack this. And then we bought a bit of a mask, like that. There we go. And another mask. And now we draw a bit of a sail. 
There we go. Not too much effort going into this target because it's probably going to be destroyed very shortly. So, there we go. Now back to the ship. And we'll leave our lovely sailing boat there. Hopefully nothing happens to it, possibly, after putting all that effort into drawing it. Not like a giant twag warhead that comes in from nowhere and kills it. Oh, that was more of the General Thrax that I was going for before. Um, if you never played CNC, you're probably wondering what the hell that accent is about. Command and Conquer Generals was a was a great game. They were going to do a remake, but they just they just stopped for some reason. I think it got cancelled or something. I don't know. But I was looking forward to it, but then I heard it was stopped. Right. We are back at the ship anyway. I do apologise for some of the lag. It's due to the gravity generators and things, and obviously we're still in alpha and we're still challenging away. So let's get this thing up to that 50 meters a second. That is our target goal for release for this weapon. You can see it's stabilised very nicely inside. That's a picture of me. And there you can see just the gravity holding it down. Let me just see if I can get a good angle on it. It's hard to get the angle. You can see the stone there just bouncing about, holding its position. And the target will come up shortly and we'll release. There's a sailing boat. Oh no, aye aye captain, there's a sailing boat over there. We better not engage it. And then, right, so we're getting up to the crucial speed of 50. So 50 is released and then we release that like so. And we've got a jetpack on and we can see it launch. Let's catch it up. So yeah, there it is launch. It's a bit like an RPG sort of warhead. I mean, you've got that high explosive anti tank. So you will actually be able to see the impact of it this time. I'll get rid of my hood as well. So you can actually see it. So you can see how the gravity gra generator on the front is going to be destroyed. And then it will melt through the target. So I'll get into this angle here so you can see how it actually goes through. So it's basically not penetrated this time. The heavy armor must be too strong. But what is the penetration value? We'll have to see. I was hoping for a little bit more than that. Well... The actual warhead has completely dis well the actual thing inside disappeared, but where's it gone? That's the question. Let's let's take this back. Oh, it has gone through. This is interesting. Look, it's embedded in the target. Let's let's peel this back. So you've got you've got the actual thing. So it's not penetrated ten layers of armor, but you've actually got it <laughs> embedded in the armor itself. Look at that. Now that is pretty damn interesting. So it's not it's not the most dangerous, but I mean, how many layers? Let's see how many layers it penetrated. That is three layers of heavy armor, and it's embedded in the target. So imagine if that's embedded in there, and you try moving your ship, it's going to rip a massive tear in that ship. So let's just cut through, and we'll see how far we are actually away from penetrating. So yeah, but who has more than three or four layers of heavy armor anyway? I mean, if you have 10 layers of heavy armor, you, you really must be compensating for something. Or are you really scared of being shot up by some really dangerous warhead? So yeah, there's where the ship actually released it. And this is where that is. I think we'll launch two at the same time and see what damage we get on the heavy armor target, shall we? So I just wanted to show you actually how I've, I've been loading them. Basically, what I do is I just travel on up to the actual warhead itself like an RPG screw it in sort of thing and then I just move my ship over into position actually onto it so when if you're at a station or something you could probably have like a crane maybe lower it in or do something a bit more technical like a conveyor belt if you wanted to do something like that but it's pretty simple you just screw them on in like so make sure the landing gears are nicely in place and make sure it's like nice and straight as well and then it's pretty much done so I'd say that's done we lock that in place like so and then we have two warheads ready to rock like that looks a bit stupid but these warheads are bloody dangerous as we know so I'm going to set up the new target right so we have got two projectiles armed and ready we've got both the warheads in there I don't know if you can actually see the little stone bouncing about but we're going to wait until we get to that magical number of about 60 meters a second this time instead of 50 and we're going to see what damage we can do on the target. The faster you go, the less visual damage you get, but the more internal damage I've noticed you get. And that's always very interesting to see. So you can see the warheads there. Disable this just for added coolness. And in 3, 2, 1. And we launch. Warheads are away. And we need to get ourselves out of this thing quickly as possible so we can watch the warheads go in. So there's the warheads going in. And we don't have impact, but will we have so any sort of penetration? That's the question. So there's one, there's two beautiful impacts. They've crushed just as we like them. So this is what's interesting about heavy armor. 
is you get a very small impact impact sort of mark like this. So this is like a high explosive anti tank round. So what's happened is you've got this deep sort of penetration. You can't actually see the warhead, and, and for for instance, I was like, what, what the hell's happened? So then you start peeling it back. You peel it back again. So this is two layers. That's three layers, and the war there is nothing to be seen. And you you like, where the hell did it go? Where the hell did the stone go? So we'll peel back this other one, and we'll see if we can find the stone. So that stone must have penetrated. Will this stone be stuck in the target? No. That's very strange. Oh, there we go. We have actually got a penetration. So that's six layers of armor penetration. That one's actually done. And let's actually go around. There's the stone. There's the penetration. There's the actual one that's came through. And it's, it's very misleading because you see it and you, first of all you're like... It doesn't look like it's penetrated anything, but then the stone is inside the ship. So, it's, it's a very interesting warhead design, and I hope you enjoyed this. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.